I just learned about assembly theory and it is simultaneously freaking me out and blowing my mind at the same time. Say you're looking at two identical complex molecules. Finding one could be a random chance, but finding thousands of perfect copies, that is extremely unlikely and suggests that only a very organized process like life is producing it. That is the central insight of assembly theory developed by chemist Lee Cronin and physicist Sarah Walker. They have proposed something bold, a mathematical way to detect life anywhere in the universe, even if that life looks nothing like what we know. Here's how it works. Every molecule has an assembly index, which is essentially the minimum number of steps required to build that molecule from its basic components. Assembly theory suggests there is some boundary between a simple versus a complex molecule that gets crossed, which requires evolution and other higher systems deemed the complexity threshold. To test this theory, there was a NASA blinded study on non-living and living samples, including the famous Murchison meteorite, a very complex, but but inorganic sample from the early solar system. The team were able to correctly identify the Murchison meteorite as non-living. Only the living samples crossed the complexity threshold of the assembly index. Through this study, Cronin identified the magic minimal number for complex life. Molecules with an assembly index below 15 appear regularly in non-living systems. Above 15, so far only life makes those. It's not that the universe can't produce a molecule with an assembly index above 15. It's that finding multiple copies suggests something is following instructions to build them, which is a hallmark of a biological process. And the best analogy is with Legos. Imagine vigorously shaking a box of Lego pieces. You may occasionally get structures that resemble walls or towers, but what are the odds of getting an entire Hogwarts castle complete with every detail? Now imagine finding dozens of identical Hogwarts castles. At that point, something is following a blueprint. The most intriguing claim about assembly theory treats time as fundamental. Complex objects literally carry their history within them. Your DNA isn't just a molecule floating in space. It's a 3.8 billion year archive of evolutionary problem solving. The assembly index's goal is to quantify this accumulated history mathematically. And Walker wants to use the assembly index to find alien life. DNA or proteins don't define life in the assembly index. You just need to find complex molecules that exist in multiple copies, which suggests they're being assembled by some form of biological process. Current searches for alien life often focus on aspects based on Earth. But what if alien biochemistry uses completely different building blocks? Ultimately, the idea is pretty profound. Assembly theory at its core is identifying the point at which chemistry becomes biology. 